Hello, drone lovers. For today's episode, I'm going to compare RPM filter versus no RPM filter. Well, it's a very subjective test, but at least we look out for prop wash, we look out for jerkiness uh, during a, a transition, we look out for uh, when you're going around the trees, we look for anything that is wavy or shaky. So these are the things I will look out for to see if the RPM filters actually improve my flight. For the video that is currently playing, this is with the RPM filters. Um, you can see that uh, Betaflight 4.1.3 is used for this flight is uh, by looking at the crosshair. The crosshair that is uh, currently for beta flight 4.1 is a different symbol as the crosshair that is used for beta flight 4.0. Okay, for the first pack, our first flight, this is the same as the introductory video. Um, this we are running the RPM filters with all the information above. You can see 4.1.3 beta flight, D shot 300 with 4K 4K, and uh, 40K 48 kilohertz ESC firmware. this flight uh, is it good or is it bad you can comment below later on I think the VTX is able to cover quite a big uh, area in this field so the only thing that I need to change would be my receiver I was planning to upgrade this to a long range R9 or R9 Slim Plus to get better diversity for two anten with two antennas so uh, that uh, I have more trust and, and faith in flying the quads over the tree canopies well I 
also bought a GPS module, which is the Paytian uh, BN220, which I have plans to mount it on the TPU mount uh, for the camera, so that uh, I can judge the speed, I can record and document the speed as I fly around the trees. coming in for a landing well you can see that the uh, time is about 5 minutes to 50 seconds and the battery MAH consume is uh, 1546 mAh this is running without the RPM filters this uh, flight was done about one month before um, and you can see that the, the day is about the same it's a, it's a sunny day uh, so the, no difference in the video in terms of capturing the details also notice that this is beta flight 4.0.4 and the crosshair is different in terms of the shape as uh, the new beta flight 4.1.3 so this shows that this is the old beta flight and then this doesn't support RPM filters. Well, based on the videos uh, I saw, um, 
the RPM filters maybe could have improved a bit of the prop wash um, during the uh, circling of the trees and so forth but there is still some prop wash when it is like making a hard, hard break uh, or hard reverse or 180 degree degrees uh, uh, reversing motion well our me I may go back to, to the um, PC and maybe adjust the P and D gain and maybe I use the RPM filter sliders I mean the, the new beta flag sliders to adjust this uh, PD gain and see how it uh, performs uh, on the next flight well you will see later that the uh, time the flight time is about five minutes three seconds for the second pack for this uh, particular uh, run without the rpm filters uh, but unfortunately the uh, milliamp hours was not correct because at that time i have not calibrated the current uh, sensor yet um, therefore it's showing half of what you you would expect well now thanks for watching the video just leave a comment below and tell me what you think of these two flights do you notice anything different was the rpm filter better than the one without the rpm filter well Anyway, just uh, do click on the subscribe button on the top right and uh, you can also click and check the notification bell to receive uh, any of my future videos. That will be good. Well, have a nice day and bye-bye.